Welcome, and thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist, and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you. Because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is in regards to career programs in the field of integrative health and healing. And I am delighted to present Valerie Liss, a faculty member at Anoka Ramsey College in Coon Rapids. Now she has her teaching degree with credits and non-credit courses in integrative health and healing. And she has been an emotional freedom techniques practitioner since 2001. Welcome Valerie. Hi Tina, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Oh. I'm really thrilled about the program and I totally agree. Knowledge is power. Thank you so much. And I'm so delighted that you could come on Knowledge for Wellness to educate my viewers as well. Yeah, uh, Noka Ramsey's program is really an, an excellent program for anyone wanting a career in the field. Yes. And so I'm very excited about the opportunity to talk about it nice. and share that with all of your viewers. Thank you so much. I know you have a busy, busy schedule and this is your first time on Knowledge for Wellness. So of course everyone wants to know about you and how you even actually became a, a faculty member at Anoka Ramsey. I, I got into the field, I think the same way most people do. Okay. I was sick. Oh, wow. and, mm -hmm. and personal it happens, story. Right, it happens again and again mm -hmm. that people get into this field because they go to our current medical systems and and just don't find the answers there. Right. And I had asthma. Oh my! And the asthma was of such a, a serious. It, it was affecting my life. Mm -hmm. I was having two, three asthma attacks every single week. Oh. And when I was having the asthma attacks, I was reacting to really even common things like coffee. Oh. And I couldn't even go into a coffee shop and have a cup of coffee. Oh, wow. And I right. was having asthma attacks. Okay, and you were that sensitive. Yes, yeah, very so much so. Mm, okay. So that interested me in the field. Okay. And once I got I kind of the the interest, once I first got that little bit of taste of what the field was all about, mm -hmm. kind of opened up a whole new passion. Okay. And I had previously been very much into the corporate world. Mm -hmm. My undergraduate was in business. Okay. And, you know, corporate business, all mm -hmm. of those things. Sure. And took the exact opposite. You mm -hmm. know, as, as you look at it, uh, many people think that integrative health and healing really is the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. And went back and got my master's degree. Oh, my. Okay. It was at the University of St. Catherine, mm -hmm. who uh, had a brand new program to have a master's degree in the field of holistic healing. Okay. And I was a part of the first graduating class. Oh, congratulations. And, yeah. <laughs> and after that, then uh, the, the passion continued. I mm -hmm. have had a practice as well with mm -hmm. emotional freedom techniques, mm -hmm. also called EFT or the tapping technique. Sure. And have been doing that since 2001 mm -hmm. and became a faculty member at Anoka Ramsey mm -hmm. soon after graduating from the holistic health program mm -hmm. in 2006 and have been enjoying sharing that information with students ever since. Wow, very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. With a lot of the people, diverse groups coming over from the world, they actually are now getting introduced to integrative health and healing and they are open to this more so than what they used to be. I mean, we're hearing more and more about acupuncturists and mm -hmm. chiropractors and people are getting more educated themselves. The field is really growing mm -hmm. and, and it has been growing just really, especially in the last, in the last decade and even in the last few years. Mm -hmm. I think what really gave the field credibility is when the National Center for Complementary and alternative medicine was created mm -hmm. through the National Institutes for Health. Mm -hmm. And that gave the credibility in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it is what allowed programs at Anoka Ramsey, mm -hmm. uh, the programs at the University of St. Catherine, because there's credibility. Yes. As far as the popularity, 
Now that is something that is really exciting. Mm -hmm. I think many people will use the statistics from the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine, which in, I believe it was 2007, their, their 10 year anniversary, mm -hmm. it was about 42% of all U.S. citizens were using the holistic therapies. But there's a, a newer study that's come out, and these numbers are credible and exciting. Mm -hmm. And they say what their purpose of their study was to compare the healthcare workers. Oh. And okay. do healthcare workers use more integrative therapies or do they use less? Mm -hmm. And they came up with healthcare uh, workers are actually. 76% of all healthcare workers are using at least one form of complementary and alternative medicine. Yeah. That's a lot. Yes. And they are comparing that to the general population, mm -hmm. which is 63%. Those are numbers, those numbers are huge. Yes. And it means that there are fewer people that aren't using it <laughs> than, than those that are. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very exciting for us that are really passionate about this field right. and want to share the information. Mm -hmm. And helping mm -hmm. others. And mm -hmm. this is a great way to Absolutely. help others and to connect with them. And more and more hospitals now are actually putting in integrative and or complementary yeah, care. That's another so, statistic over 40%. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that was again in 2007. Mm -hmm. And another statistic too that I really love is 90%, uh, this again is National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine in 2007. Mm -hmm. So the numbers have, I'm sure, even increased, increased since then. Yes. But at that point, 90% of all hospitals were requiring at least one course in integrative health and healing mm -hmm. for medical doctors and their yeah. training. So it's showing that it's really important, mm -hmm. really important. So actually a career now in this field mm -hmm. is just blossoming as well. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. Yeah, they, they're calling it the next trillion dollar industry. And okay. if you look at right now, if you look at the medical field, one out of every five dollars spent is on, is on uh, the medical side. Sure. And if you look at in general, Western medicine is doing an amazing job. Yes. And I think all of us, if we are in a car accident or if we are having a real serious health challenge, that mm -hmm. we are very grateful for those services that are available to us. Right. And Western medicine does amazingly well mm -hmm. with emergency care. Yes. And integrative health and healing, on the other hand, does amazingly well when it comes to chronic conditions. Yes. And we just do not, uh, we don't spend much time on chronic conditions mm -hmm. and preventive care in the United States. Right. And this is really showing the aging of the population mm -hmm. and the interest in the field that the next trillion dollar industry mm -hmm. that very definitely there are positions, there are careers yes. out there. Mm -hmm. And also our quality of life, even though we're living longer, mm -hmm. you know, to what degree, you know, we don't want to have this pain in our knee all our, all our lives either. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Quality of life is, is, is very important as well. Yes. And we need to look also in regards to the quality of life. But as a patient, why can't we have the choice of, you know, working with you and Western medicine? And so we are looked at as a whole mind, spirit, and mm -hmm. body. And if I feel that maybe something has happened to me that I'm not positive thinking, and there's been proof that positive thinking is actually healing as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Then I can call on someone in the hospital to help me with, let's say, for instance, you and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. you know. Yes, that's absolutely essential that people understand that the goal is integration. Yes. You know, that's why we call it integrative health, is that we want to combine the very best of both. Mm -hmm. The best of Western medicine, the best of integrative health, combine them both to make every person the to have them the, to give them the opportunity to choose right. what works mm -hmm. and to allow all of us to have better lives. Yes, mm -hmm. and even healing touch now. Healing touch has actually mm -hmm. become very very popular, but a lot of people aren't even aware of it. Oh, I didn't know they offered that. Right, and so to make awareness of that with the patient as well. I think what really makes the the program different at Noka Ramsey mm -hmm. from what else is out there mm -hmm. is that it's a degree. Mm -hmm. And it is from a legitimate college, 
and it's eligible for financial aid. Yes. It's a state of Minnesota, minuscule system, so mm -hmm. Minnesota State College and University Systems. Sure. And it's a degree, mm -hmm. so it's an AS degree. It has that credibility, mm -hmm. and at the same time, the training in a field that not only is viable mm -hmm. as a career option, it is a field that is just fascinating yes. to be a part of. Mm -hmm. It would be similar to someone going to nursing school mm -hmm. and also being an assistant mm -hmm. to a nurse with a two-year degree. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. There is a great career path at Anoka Ramsey. Uh, could you talk a little bit about some of the degrees that people can get there? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, in, in the Introduction to Holistic Healing class, which is one of those that I teach, I have actually, uh, uh, it's written out, mm -hmm. and I start reading, and it takes me, oh, maybe five, six, seven, eight minutes. And all I do is I keep reading, okay. and I keep doing it kind of as a joke to the students. Oh. And all I'm doing is listing potential career paths, okay. potential uh, positions, or what, what a student could do after they graduate. Sure. And if you look at the field, the field is fairly new. Mm -hmm. The field has, because it's fairly new, it, it's the techniques are thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. Yes. And yet the field itself we consider to be new and emerging. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have major corporations that are waiting to hire people. Oh, so sure. just to be very clear with that, it's yes. not major corporations mm -hmm. waiting to hire people. And, uh, and many of the positions would be an individual in private practice. Okay. And if Entrepreneurs. You, entrepreneurs, very, absolutely. Yes, yeah. very nice. Which, in some ways, that's very positive because it gives the, the strength. Uh, sometimes those that are in the field are a little bit nervous about that. Uh, but it is, it, it's really, a, I think, one of the, the greatest potentials mm -hmm. as well is to be able to, to do what you absolutely love to do. Yes and to have the opportunity to spend all day, every day mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. Uh, really, I, uh, nothing could be better no. than to live that kind of a life. Yeah. So those that are practitioners, we, we have, of course, the Healing Touch you already mentioned, and, mm -hmm. and a Qigong practitioner, or therapeutic touch, or Reiki practitioners, emotional freedom techniques, EFT, which of course is what I do. Mm -hmm. And then taking the field and moving into some combined areas, moving in, working with the co-ops, working in education and training mm -hmm. of all different types. And the degree itself is actually designed, it's, it's like any two-year degree. Mm -hmm. If you have an associate in arts degree, it's really, really designed for you to do more or to take on more uh, it's more studies. Yes. That it's not an end degree in and of itself. Mm -hmm. It's not purposefully to be trained for a specific position. Right. At the same time, it gives so much information mm -hmm. that would allow you to be successful to practice or to do other work in the field. Right. So you basically have core classes that you're talking yes, about do. as mm -hmm. well. So could you educate my viewers on that as well? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The core courses are are in some ways lined up with the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine, mm -hmm. and they divide the the categories, or they divide it into the field into five primary categories. Okay. And so each one of those categories also has a core course at Anoka Ramsey. Mm -hmm. So the categories, we have one on movement and manipulative-based body practices. Mm -hmm. So things like chiropractic in of course, this is not chiropractic training. Right. It's really to have a further understanding of what chiropractic is all about, mm -hmm. and uh, and yoga, massage. So a little bit of a, a taste, kind of a touch of of those topics. And then we also have a a class in mind body connections. Okay. Mind body connections goes through hypnotherapy. It mm -hmm. has guided imagery. It has techniques from the energy psychology area, which in energy psychology is the EFT mm -hmm. and other techniques, uh, TAT, TFT, they're all in acronyms. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is the category of energy healing. Okay. Energy healing is of great interest to a lot of the students. Mm -hmm. And they're fascinated with the idea that either hands-on touch 
or sometimes just moving, mm -hmm. okay, moving the energy sure. and how that can promote the healing process. Mm -hmm. So that's a really interesting class. And then we also have holistic healing systems. Okay. Uh, this is one where we go through some of the more complicated courses, which would be your more complicated systems, which okay. would be traditional Chinese medicine, okay. homeopathy, naturopathy, so, Tibetan medicine. Yeah, so actually they're getting kind of a general range mm -hmm. of everything like you do when you go oh, to college. Absolutely, yes. And then if you decide to go to into pediatrics, that's when you go specifically yes. into very, that. Yeah, okay. very good analogy, very Thank good you. way of explaining it. Okay. So yes, but the classes themselves, we also have an internship class okay. and it's required as a part of the degree. So sure. they get an opportunity to spend some time out in the field, mm -hmm. actually working in the field of integrative health and healing. Sure. And of course the introduction to holistic healing, which is an overview of all of it. Nice. So it's really a, a very, it's, it's a very strong curriculum because mm -hmm. of course being a college, it is important that the students understand mm -hmm. and get the content. Yes. And at the same time, it is, oh, it is so much fun mm -hmm. as far as the, the actual activities mm -hmm. that we do with the students and what the students learn as a part of the program. Yeah, you even go into more depth with the uh, anatomy and such into detail into where that is. And they have to write actually pages and literatures it's and It's very like important to understand that this field is credible. Yes. And what makes it credible mm -hmm. is that there are clinical research studies mm -hmm. that support that these techniques work. Yes. So yes, we do require, <laughs> uh, try to keep the research papers relatively short mm -hmm. and yet to really understand the concept underneath it mm -hmm. of what is a peer-reviewed journal mm -hmm. and, and why is a peer-reviewed journal important important mm -hmm. rather than reading it in a popular journal right. and how do you find these articles how do you read them mm -hmm. because it's like a new language sure and then how to formulate the paper as a, an APA style which is what medical research has done yes and something that really I think is interesting is people quite often think integrative therapies do not have proof that they don't have clinical research, and Western medicine does. Mm -hmm. And a recent statistic I just uh, came out with or discovered is that if you get right down into the really nitty gritty, mm -hmm. Western medicine only has about 15% okay. of what is being used on a regular basis in Western medicine that you could go back and has credible scientific research backing it up, only 15%. Mm -hmm. right. So now when we look at integrative health and healing, if you look at particular things like acupuncture, hypnotherapy, chiropractic, massage, uh, some of those that have been around for a while mm -hmm. and have been accepted, there is a substantial amount of research that backs it up. Right. So when they go to mm -hmm. Anoka Ramsey, they just want to know that they actually have to work hard. It's not just something that... Oh, yes, yeah, yes. You know. it, it, it's definitely a degree that the students have to learn and they can feel very, very proud yes. once they graduate that they have... They, there are the core... There's the core curriculum as well. Yes. So they do have to take their, their basic English courses, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the math, I'm not quite sure what's on their science. Mm -hmm. uh, so sure. there, there is that core curriculum as well right. uh, in addition to the integrative health and healing courses. Yeah. All right, let's walk through a typical student at Anoka Ramsey, you know, with them having to take their mm -hmm. generals, let's say, out of the way, and then to go into more depth into that specific field as well. First of all, the students at Anoka Ramsey are not your typical college student. Right. Some of them are, mm -hmm. but most of them are not. Okay. If you think of a typical college student, they've just recently graduated from high school. Then they are going through their high school program showing what could be possible careers mm -hmm. and then going to college and and many of them already kind of have their mindset. Oh, sure. And so age, as far as age, as far as, you know, 50, 50, 50 split, as far as male, female, things like that, mm -hmm. integrative health and healing does not match that no. as, at, at all. Okay. Uh, most of the students in the in the classes uh, first of all 
primarily women. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the the number is maybe seventy percent, eighty percent. So so we love we love the men in the classes yes. as well. You know uh -huh. we 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 definitely love to have the the men in there as well, and and yet primarily women, mm -hmm. and quite often a little bit older. Okay. And many of them are coming back for a second career, mm -hmm. and it happens just as it did with me, mm -hmm. I believe, with you as well, right? Yes. That we we had other other careers. We had other things that we were doing mm -hmm. and then life changed. Yes. And we decided that what was more important is to do what we're passionate about, to mm -hmm. do what we really want to do. And so we will see the students in the in the class even when it's not required and even let's say all their grades are in, they already have an A. Mm -hmm. I don't know they they still come to class. They're still there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the reason why they're there is because they absolutely want to be there. Mm -hmm. And and I get more students that will say something happened and I can't make it and they're going on and on and on about how disappointed they are mm -hmm. rather than what you will often hear with the college students of trying to find excuses to get out. It's yes. the exact opposite. The mm -hmm. students really want to be there yeah. and want to learn what we what we have to teach. Yeah, because they're passionate about it and they see the uh, end results absolutely. and how good yes. things turn yes. out for them. And so let's back up a little bit. We talked about an internship. Mm -hmm. So let's go into depth about that too. So let's say I've gone to Anoka Ramsey. I've graduated in either ac you know, acupuncture mm -hmm. and or massage therapy. Then where do you take me from there? Okay, so let me just clarify because we don't graduate in acupuncture or massage therapy. Yes. Those are those are separate. All we do is we just give a taste of it. Okay. And so if you were going to do acupuncture, you have to be licensed. Yes. It does mean that you need further studies. Yes. If you do massage, you would want to go and study massage separately. Mm -hmm. But as far as the internship goes, uh, the internships are personalized, okay. and the the student and I work together to come up with an experience that is ideal for them. Okay. Uh, quite often what we'll say is if you had the perfect internship, mm -hmm. what would it be composed of? Okay. And then go back and try and find things that match up. Okay. So we have had uh, individuals that have worked with uh, homeopathy practitioners mm -hmm. as well as the school for homeopathy okay. here in the area. Uh, the uh, Matthew Wood, who is a very well-known herbalist mm -hmm. and has written a number of books on the subjects uh, had taken on one of our internship students mm -hmm. and we have had them work in chiropractic offices wellness centers and we've had a number of students who have developed brand new integrative health and healing programs okay uh, one of them at one of the Fairviews mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, Another one at, actually they, they were both Fairview at two different locations. All right. And so it really does bring out all of the, all of the tools, all of the skills, all of the, everything that the student learns and mm -hmm. to be able to bring it into the real world. Yes. And it has really been an amazing experience to be a part of seeing the student as they are able to take that take take all of, all of those studies you mm -hmm. know all of the bookworm stuff yes. all of the, and, and <laughs> the text, then to go yes. out there and and to actually do it mm -hmm. and working with uh, some of our really very I, I have such appreciation for our practitioners who are our internship supervisors and the dedication that they've given to our students with helping them to learn the trade and to to really get that kind of passion for, for the field as well. Right. Our internship supervisors have been absolutely amazing. Wow. Well, it seems like a win-win situation, you know, mm -hmm. for the student as well as them going out and doing, let's say, practicing with an understudy type of thing with an acupuncturist and or let's say they go to a hospital to learn healing touch. Mm -hmm. You know, that sounds really mm -hmm. great. So you have the additional two-year program. What else do you work with them on the integrative health and healing at Anoka Ramsey then? Uh, there is an entire another area at Anoka Ramsey, okay. and it's through continuing education and customized training. Okay. And that part of the college also has a lot of integrative health and healing and a lot of other certificates. Okay. Uh, they offer a certificate in aromatherapy. 
also a certificate in herbology. Okay. And there are many different certificates which are non-credit, which are also being offered, which are really fascinating for anyone who wants to learn more about the field and get a little bit more of a specialized study area. Okay, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. We have a few minutes left, Valerie, and I really love for you to throw out a little bit of knowledge, being on Knowledge for Wellness to my viewers as well. Oh, I would love to do that. Thank you, Tina. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, yes, I would say in the field of integrative health and healing that this is an area where it is, I can't, in, I absolutely cannot imagine anything more rewarding. Uh, nothing's more rewarding than to get into this field and to be able to help to be able to support, to make a difference in other people's lives, and in doing so, to be able to make that career change, to do what you're most passionate about, and to do something that makes a difference in other people and also makes a difference in the world. And the program at Anoka Ramsey allows you to do that, to be able to make that, that shift into doing for a living what is important for you and also what really most changes the world. Again, I cannot imagine anything more rewarding than that. Thank you, Valerie, so much for your wonderful insight in educating my viewers with this knowledge. Oh, thank you, Tina. I was, it was a delight to be here. I really enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. We'll have to have you back. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, good. If you have any questions or would like to contact Anoka Ramsey Community College, please contact either Natasha Baer, the Director of Allied Health and Intern Dean at 763-433-1707 or natasha.bear at anokaramsey.edu and of course Valerie Liss at 763-433-1167 or email her directly at valerie.liss at anokaramsey.edu or you can also go to their website at www.anokaramsey.edu. And please tune in to my other shows of Knowledge for Wellness being televised throughout the Twin City area. And you can also see my previous shows on YouTube. And if you get a minute, please visit my website at www.knowledgeforwellness.com. And you can also connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. And the mission of Knowledge for Wellness is to inform viewers on health issues, to expose, educate, and make viewers aware, to enhance themselves and their loved ones for a better quality of life. And I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. Remember, help is wealth. So until next time, be well and goodbye. Thanks again, Valerie. Oh, thank you, Tina. Over time you've healed so much in me And I am living proof That although my darkest hour had come Your light could still shine through And at times it's just enough to cast The shadow on the wall 